What is up everyone? I'm so JD the Money Master to this day. Today's video is gonna be a little bit of a different one. I'm actually not gonna do a pick up video or a collection video, but rather a games I'm actually on the lookout for. These are games that I've not I've not found in a while, haven't been able to afford them. And but games I wanna to add to my collection are games that I'm on the lookout for. Or specifically either to resell, whatever. This but, I, but this is mostly gonna be for the collection. These are games I've been on the lookout. Now, obviously, I cannot show you the games because I don't have them. So, I'm going to have to have my friend Ray um, edit some, insert some photos there, the box there for you guys. But, I thought I would basically show you games I'm on the lookout for. So, that being said, uh, I'm going to start with the RPGs just to get them out of the way. Now, there's a lot of games that I want. So I'm not going to be able to mention them all. So, I'm going to have to go with just a few. But, um... I'm going to start with um, my most wanted game of all time. You might be thinking, what is my most wanted game of all time? Well, it's a Work in the Sands RPG for the sake of Saturn. It's a game that I've always wanted to play because it looks so beautiful when I first saw it. And, and even listening to the music I like, we get the chance to, once I finish the game, would be amazing. And that game is Albert Odyssey for the sake of Saturn. It's a really, really cool RPG. One I really wanted to get my hands on. But it is extremely rare, very hard to find, not, and not one I've seen in a while. And once I, I, I can turn to eBay, and, and, I, and okay, of course I would be able to turn to eBay, but the problem is that even, to, even from when I get money for my birthday, I still cannot afford it. Because of how rare it is. I'll have to sell some stuff to make money for it. So it's one I would love to add to my collection. And speaking of the Sega Saturn, and, and I, I won't say this metal, don't worry, you know, this sounds metal, but don't worry, it's, I won't be saying metal this time. But the next RPG I wanted to talk about that game I've been looking out for is Dragon Force. Now this game is also really cool. Like I said, you can't get more metal than that, but I'm not going to say it in a metal way. Because um, this is not a pick a video, so otherwise I would go metal on it. But anyway, Dragon Force. Really cool RPG, not, but not, it's not one I see every day. Hey, and I guess top it off for the sake of Saturn. Um, this is not a RPG per se, but it is one I am on the lookout for, and that's Saturn Bomberman. I had my eye on that game for a very long time. It's like like why why Bomberman again? Such a bomb six four seconds and Bomberman ninety three. It is very hard to find. Though it's actually really cool. So you can actually get up to ten parts. Granted, you're gonna need a accessory for that, and you have to import that from Japan. But the fact that you can do it, it's really cool. And but again, it is extremely hard to find. So I think we should stick with Sega. So for now. So basically, um, there is um, one drink game. There's, yeah, there's a lot of drinking games I want to get a hold of. But I have to limit it to just a few. I'm only limited to just four. There's like the three uh, big ones that I want to get a hold of because I'm actually trying to build a Dreamcast collection. And obviously one of the ones that I am on the lookout for, but it's one I probably won't be able to get anytime soon, is Giga Wing 2. Now I'm also going to go Giga Wing 1 as well, because that's the other one I've been looking out for. But Giga Wing 2 as, in particular is the one, is it, this is, it's the one I'm on the lookout for. It is the rarest game on the Dreamcast, Wizard of North America. And it's one that I probably won't get my hands on, but it is out there and I know, it's, I know at some point I'll be able to add to the collection. Another Dreamcast game I'm on the lookout for is Cannon Spike. Now, with Street Fighter VI, um, coming, uh, that just, just, with Street Fighter VI that just came out um, not so long ago, it's also surprised that Cannon Spike would be one of the more interesting. What's not a Street Fighter game, it's, it's mostly like a Capcom crossover that plays by Kashima. It's got Cammy, Charlie from the, um, Street Fighter, our different Ghosts and Goblins, and of course, it's got Mega Man. I mean, come on, I love Mega Man. I, I didn't even know that Mega Man was in the game until I did some research. I was like, oh my god, I gotta have it. But yes, it's very hard to find. And funny fact, I actually did not even heard about it until Christmas. So I went through some gaming footage, and holy shit, it looked awesome. No wonder why I missed out on it. But it is hard to find, and it's not one I'll probably, I probably won't get. And one more, and, and I got two more drinks games I want to talk about. One of the, I'll actually say the big one for to the end. The other one, I'll say the one that I actually wanted to add to the collection. That game is um, Elemental Gimme Gear. Now, it is supposed to be a real a good little RPG. Now, there's not a lot of RPGs for the Dreamcast. 
So, Elemental Gimmick is one that I really, really been wanting to add for a really long time. But it's very hard to find and quite pricey. Um, not the most pricey Dreamcast game out there, but it's actually going up in price. So, it's one I really love to add to the collection. And then, uh, probably the big one, Dreamcast game that I still need and one I've been looking for for a very long time. Project Justice. Now, Project Justice is the sequel to Rival Skulls, which Rival Skulls is also hard to find. And, and I all mentioned Rival Skulls, actually, we should shift to the PlayStation 1 after this. But, um, yeah, so Rival Skulls, also hard to find, but Project Justice is even more rare and one that I probably won't get. Uh, so, yeah, now it's a month to the PlayStation. Obviously, I already mentioned Rival Skulls, so I will mention it again, because now, we're, now, since we are talking about PlayStation, but yeah, PlayStation 1. Rival Schools, um, great game from what I heard. Very hard to find though, and it is one that I am on the lookout for. It probably may be one that I won't be able to get, because it is going up in price. So it's actually one I'll probably, I'll probably find somewhere. And to go to continue on with the RPG line, um, there are two RPGs on the PS1, PlayStation 1, that I am on the lookout for. Uh, the big one, that one I've been wanting for so long, is Tsukiden 2. Now I have um, almost all the Suikoden's on PS2 except for Tactics. I don't have Suikoden Tactics, but other than that, I only after Suikoden Tactics, I won't, I have most of the rest of Suikoden's on PS2. I I had the opportunity to get Suikoden One. I think I bought it, but then it was in so bad condition that um, I had to trade it off to get Super Metro, which I'm thank God I did. But Suikoden Two on the end is quite pricey. Not one I see every day and. I'm, I do have Final Heart 2, but, but Sukkot 2 is one I would really love to add to the collection. Because it's such an awesome game. One of the best RPGs of all time. And I know I'll get this out, but I know at some point I'll get my hands on the copy as well. And probably the big one for the PlayStation 1. And the one that I, I probably won't get, but it, it is out there. And it's very hard to find. And because of the franchise, because of the franchise it's in, and because of the fact that... um. I probably won't be able to get this one because how expensive it's getting. It's only getting more expensive than here. And that game is, is Revelations Persona. Now, Persona is a really big franchise is pretty much nowadays, but the series got started on the PlayStation 1, and it is very hard to find, um, especially the original. Persona 2 is also hard to find. Now, I know there are a couple of harder to find uh, Persona games, but Persona 1 on PS1 definitely takes the keg, and it's one... I have it on the woodcut for, and it probably may be one that I won't get anytime soon, but like I said, it is out there. So, a couple of um, interesting uh, PS1 titles that I wanted to mention. I don't know if they're hard to find or not, but there are ones I am on the woodcut for. One of them is Trap Gunner on the PS1. It's supposed to be a really, really cool, um, interesting game that I, I have never seen in the wild, and, and, and I know someone I will pick up at some point. And a couple of, of common, um, maybe not so common, games I have been on the lookout for. Um, one of them is Mega Man X5. And both and, and X4, but most specifically X4 and X5. And I'll group them together because um, there are two of them. And I'll, uh, I'll throw on X6 as well. But this is the Mega Man X games on PS1. That I, definitely have, I haven't been able to add these games to, to the collection for a while. And I know at some point I'll pick them up. And probably the other. Are, one that platformer that I've been wanting to add to the course. I actually just heard about it um, recently, um, and that's Jumping Flash. Um, I, I actually saw um, Alpha Mega Sin um, play that game. It looks really, really fun for being an early 3D platformer position in the first person perspective. I know at some point I'll pick it up, but yeah, it's, really, it's the only one I don't see every day. Um, and getting in the drill case is not the easiest thing to, to, find, to do, but if you can find it, it's really cool. And it's one I wanted to add to the question because I love Dirty Platformers and I heard one of the earlier Dirty Platformers out there. And probably the another one more bigger RPG on the PS1. Um, it's one that I probably won't get but it is out there and that's Xeno Gears. It's actually one that um, I am on the lookout for. It's very hard to find and it's probably one that I won't get but it's one that I'm hoping I'll find. So, uh, what's Talk about some DS games next. So, um, the DS is a system that I love. Um, I love the 3DS more. 
or and, and I wish I will get to 3DS in, in a little bit, but um, there's a couple of DS games I would like to mention, uh, especially some RPGs, but the big one and the most important one that I still need and the one that I'm really hoping I'll find this year, but I probably won't find it because of how rare it is and how rare it's becoming, it's infinite space. I had an opportunity to get that game for $40, but however, my grandfather was there. He said I can only spend thirty dollars. He told me not to get it, and that, and that's and I that was the biggest mistake I I was forced to make, because um I knew I could have gotten it even though it was ten dollars more, but he stopped me and as a result I had not found that game in really four years, and as a result the game's really jumped up in price and become much more difficult to find. I would love to add that game to my collection, but it is one I probably won't get. Um, but I am on the lookout for it. And another RPG on the PS1, not PS1, another RPG on the DS I am on the book for a Super Robot Tyson OG and Saga Frontier. Now, funny enough, I do have Super Robot Tyson Urgent Generation on GBO, which I put 16 bucks a book off on that. But that one is basically loose. I will have to get a completed box copy of um, uh, Super Robot Tyson OG and Saga Frontier. I mean, yeah, it's super fan service but, um, it's the one I've been on a workout for. And I guess one more DS game. Unfortunately, this game sucks. Because I have, I have played this fucking awful. But, um... It's one I have been on a workout for. Because it is an RPG. Um, it, it, it is charming. But it's not a good game. But the reason why um, I'm on the workout for it. Because... Especially completed in box. Because... I had the game loose. But I... I got rid of it. Because I really want to find a completed in box copy. I probably place it with a computer box copy because the computer box is a copy is extremely rare for this game. But that game is my world, my way. Now the game is not good. It's it's a terrible piece of shit. But um, it is one I'm on the lookout for a computer box because you never see it. And it's, and say I'm a huge RPG fan. I think it's one I will have to add to my collection eventually. And I guess we'll still, we should get to the 3DS games to get those out of the way. There's not a lot of 3DS games on Wikibon Man. If there's a 3DS game I want, I will typically add it to the collection. I'm not too picky with um, the 3DS. Like, if it's a 3DS game I want to add to the collection, I will add it. But um, there are um, two games um, that um, I am on the lookout for. One of them is extremely hard to find. And the other one is just... Uh, actually, it's three in particular. One of them, the other one is just one I just have I haven't found them before a reasonable price, and then the other one, um, the, the other one is actually one I'm ever just looking for. Uh, there is one of them that um I would have put on that was that Seven Dragon Dude Code Fifty, but I was able, but I do have that game in my possession, thanks to um someone on eBay. So th- so because I was able to mark that one off my list now, so thanks to that guy who sold me for a really good price on eBay, I really appreciate it. But um, there is um. Uh, a lot that um, there is a few that I am on the lookout for. Um, one one of them is um, WarioWare Gold. Now I have um, WarioWare DIY. I don't have a lot of WarioWare games in particular, so it's a series I really want to try and play more of. And WarioWare Gold is definitely one that I have been on the lookout for. But again, I don't see it every day. It's a wait release. Um, I seen the one play of it because it's my first time seeing it in a while, but. It's one I would love to add to the collection. I heard it's really fun, really upbeat, and one I just don't see every day. Uh, another one I would really love to add to the to the collection. This is a little bit of an uncommon one, but not really. And that's um, Word of Magna, um, Made in Heaven. I've seen the trailer for that game a long time ago. Um, I missed my chance to get it, and as a result, um, it's actually gone up in price, and not which is not something I expected for that game. It's one I would love to get a hold of, but it's probably one that I probably won't get, but it is out there. And probably the biggest one for the 3DS that I am on the lookout for. I actually played this game. I could have got this game. I wanted to get this game uh, physically. However, GameStop did not have a copy. I didn't even know how rare it was at the time. And I, I, I thought, oh, it's a game I want to play. And I actually played the game digitally. I had to get the game digitally, and I absolutely loved it. So I'm, I, I thought I'd never been able to run across a physical copy in, in, in the wild. And that game is written deep in the Emperor's Treasure. Now I know at some point I'll get a copy. Because I do love Rhythm Deep. And it's a great game. I have not played that game in years. And it's one that I actually really wanted to get a hold of for the 3DS eShop Close. And I didn't. And, and then I thought I haven't been able to find it. 
Actually, I'd just rather there's actually one more 3D game I'd like to mention. That game is um, Corpse Party on the 3DS. Basically, um, I have not seen the art. Although I did some find it off um, an app, a cream off Instagram, but it was actually in the special edition. I'm actually looking for a standard, standard um, Corpse Party. I'm not going to pay eBay price for it. For a regular, for a, for a collector's edition. Unfortunately, it is hard to find. So, um, I, and it has a couple of District 6 games to finish off. Um, um, there are two District 6 games I am looking for in particular. Um, I, I would mention New Armored Core games, but, um, those games are, like, a big series that's on. I think it would be impossible for me to track them. But there are two District 6 games I am not looking for. And, as many guys know, I am going for, going for complete XS 267. And these are two rare ones that I know I said you need to get the rare games out of the way, but honestly, these games I just haven't been able to find. And I, I mean, one of them I did run across, but I stupidly didn't get it, which is so stupid of me. I might have been overpriced, but I don't care because it's 1 a.m. on the work out for. And that game is Operation Darkness. It's a really cool tactical review developed by Atlas. But it is very hard to find. It is one that I am on the lookout for. Because again, I'm trying to complete my set. And it's one I know I'm going to have to pay up for. But I just have not been able to find it for a reasonable price. And I know at some point I will. And probably the big one. For the 360. You remember thinking a big one? Yep. This is a big one. This is one that... As many as I'm trying to complete my 360 set... This is one that I I have never been able to find, and I know there's another card that's actually working for this game. It is very hard to find. It only came out in Mexico. I think it was very limited when it first came out, but that game is El Chavo Card. Now it is probably the rarest game on Xbox 360, and it's one that it probably it probably might be the last game I need for the 360 set, but it is very hard to find. It's very pricey, and it is not one that I see very often. I wish I can get a very reasonable price. So, um, and the, I guess, to, I guess, you know what, I guess we can finish up with Super Nintendo. But some, th there's not a lot of games, a lot of numbers that I do have to limit it to games that I want. So just to make it like into the 20, dollar mark, 20 minute mark, so, let's finish up Super Nintendo, why not? So, um... Basically, there are a lot of students in the games I'm looking for. These are going prices, going prices for complete in box. But, um, there's a few of them in particular that I do want. Um, I I'm going to mention five. Um, the first one is Super Adventure Island 2. So it is one that I am on the workout for. It's not one I see every day. And again, I want that in complete in box. I don't want it lose. Because I think it looks very awesome in complete in box. I should be fine. As you know, it's a hit gem. Why not? The other one I'm actually working for, and this is one I actually had the opportunity to get for. for I did want to cross it completely, but again, I missed my chance. Um, I, I, I that one's going to hold grow up, but that game is Batman Returns on Super Nintendo. I do have the NES version, which one, but I had, I paid $8 with the NES version, which is basically the same price I got. The, could have got a Super Nintendo one for but I had the opportunity to get the Super Nintendo one. I didn't, and I regret it. But it's but Batman Champion on Super Nintendo is an awesome beat em up from what I heard. And I know most copies are should be cheap, but again, I want to complete the box, and I don't say it every day. And and pretty much, um, there's only like one common game I want. Um, it's well, maybe not common, but it is one I'm looking for. They just announced a remake for this game, so I want to get this game now on the can, even if it has to be loose. And that's uh, a Super Mario RPG. Um, Legend of the Seven Stars. Now, like I said, they just came out with a remake for this game. It's one of my favorite um, games on the um, Super Nintendo. I, I had a boost, but I, I got rid of it hoping to find a complete boss guy, but I never found it again. So it's one I'm on the lookout for. And basically, two more I wanted to mention. Um, one of them is a Holy Grail game. I don't think I'll be able to find I might have to go to boost with that one, but I'll see the end. But one of them is actually one I've really wanted to try for a while. And that game is um, Cybernator. That game looks really cool. Um, it's, I heard there's a lot of dialogue in that one, but I saw a review for it. It looks so, so good. And one I am hoping to get out of it. It's not too expensive to put the box funny now, so, I'll, I'll, so I hope I'll find it soon. And the big one. that you guys go on Cybernator. This is probably one of my most wanted games. I, I haven't been able to add it to my most wanted. 
that I think I might have been if it wasn't because of how expensive it was becoming. But it's a game I'm on the work out for, and it is one I'm really hoping I can find. I will easily work out a trade, to, that's just almost my question, just to get this game. Because it's not, maybe not my most wanted game of all time, that would be Albert Odyssey. But it's one I am on the work out for, and one I'm really, really hoping I can find someday. And add it to the collection. That game is Metal Warriors on the Super Nintendo. It is one that I've been wanting for a very long time. It's a super awesome game. I see I want to play it so I want to play it many times. I'm really hoping I'll find it, but it's not one I'll probably be able to add to the collection. But it's it's good to know that's out there. That being said, I think that's pretty much it. So before we end today's video, there are a few games I want to announce that we have to say goodbye to. I'm not gonna have time to get them in the photo, so I'm actually going to um, show them in a the video. I'll, I'll try to get them in a the video. Why not? All right, guys. Real quick before we end this video, um, there are three games that um, I am gonna be re weaving. They're gonna be weaving the collection, mostly because I need the money. But I'm also, but I'm also gonna be funding it for Dreamcast games. One of them is actually a very sad one that that's weaving, but I need the money. But we got Star Fox Zero. This game we, is being removed from the collection. Two of you actually need the money for this. I want to see if I can get this game of trade card in. And if I actually add it back to the collection. But this is not my favorite Star Fox game out there. Um, not as much as the Control Switch shit. Um, it's not a great game. And considering the fact that I haven't been able to revisit this one in a while. That was enough for me to let this go from the collection. The other one. It's actually one of my favorite game features of all time. But there's a reason why I'm getting rid of this. Super Mario Party. You might be thinking, why am I getting rid of this? Well, take a look. This thing. Yeah, this is the world. This, you kids not aware this is the world edition. The thing for this complete. This is not my favorite Super Mario Party game out there. I'm not sure you want to get Superstars, but I've, want, I've always wanted to get this one for the collection. And the fact that I couldn't get, um, get, um, the back I ended up getting this, that was enough for me to really go from the collection. This one is actually the unfortunate side, but I'm actually going to be helping out a friend of mine who, who really needs this game. But that game is um, The Legend of the Wind Waker. Now, this is my charter copy. It is complete. This is my charter copy of this game, which it sucks because I got this game for my birthday. But the real reason why I'm getting rid of this game is because, um, like I said, I need the money. But um, second thing is that uh, my, somebody, one of my friends has said that and she's been wanting this game. She'll get. She'll even get a Wii U if she if she buys this game from me. So I really want to help her out, but that is costing my other copy. Well, it's one I don't play very often. So that being said, um, I'm I'm gonna end this video here. I hope I'm gonna help me break and edit this. But that being said, I will see you guys in a few weeks when I get back because I'm gonna be gone for a few weeks. Just to help see my friends again. Johnson, you, you got the basics. That being said. I'm Jake the Money Mastered. Keep on getting time with great tower. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.